This video is all about the pivoting operators in Power Query. So I'm gonna show you how to pivot, how to unpivot. This is really useful as an intermediary step with large data sets. So we've two data sets today. This data set, we're gonna be pivoting it. This is a population data set, and this is an economic indicator data set, which we're gonna be unpivoting. So on my unpivoted data here, I'm gonna press data. I'm gonna to go to from table range, and I'm gonna bring this into Power Query. This is about 13 and a half thousand rows. I'm gonna to go to transform, and then I'm gonna pick the column that I want to pivot. But there's two columns here, a short country and a country name. I'm gonna get rid of the short name, and then I'm gonna pivot this country column. So we're gonna pivot it by value, and what happens here is this will turn the country into the columns. And then the years are my rows, so this has about 60 rows in here. Or I can do the other way, I can pivot the years, and I can put the years into the columns, and I can put the countries into the rows. So you can just see that this just makes the data set a lot more manageable. To get this out into Excel, just close and load, and close and load to a table, press OK, and this will bring out your data set into kind of, as I said, a much more manageable uh, data set. So you've got a e column for each year and you've got all the countries in the world. So only about 250 rows rather than your old um, 13,000 before. So we're gonna unpivot this data set, the second data set. So I'm gonna bring that into Power Query as well. And for this one, I'm just selecting the columns I want to unpivot. And then I'm just going up into transform again, and I'm gonna unpivot these columns. And now each of these columns comes out into the country in a different row. So we've got US GDP, US unemployment rate, and US inflation rate. And I can just again go to close and load, close and load to table and then this will come out as a new data set as well. So very short video today, hope you found it useful. Follow for more.